hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to do a video on how to care for your kombucha scoby and how to clean your brewing containers so let's get started okay guys here i have my one gallon container with some scobies i've had my brewing cycle on pause for about three weeks now so i'm ready to get started again but then i noticed the container has a little bit of yeast on the sides of it and it just looks not so clean so I thought I would try to clean it so we will remove the scobies and the starter liquid that's in there and clean the container okay guys so I have a glass container here a plate and a wooden spoon I'm going to try to remove as much of the liquid as possible because it's not really that much in there as I said, I've had this green cycle on pause for a while, so a lot of it has evaporated and the scobies have eaten up or absorbed some of the liquid. So I'm going to try to at least get one cup of starter liquid out of here. And if you squeeze the scobies with clean hands, you'll get more of the liquid out of there. Okay, so that's about a cup. Alrighty. Okay, so the next step, we'll put a starter liquid off to the side here. The next step is to remove the scobies, and I'm going to just reach in because, I, as I said, I have clean hands. And look at all of this craziness going on in here. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so this is an older scoby I had. It's a smaller one. Probably one of the first ones I got um, to start this container. Here I have another older one that's attached to it. So I'm going to just remove these. And as you can see, there's some yeast build up there, which I'm going to remove. You could just remove it with your fingers. And I will shortly just rinse off the SCOBY just to get it nice and clean. But this is a newer SCOBY, the newest one um, that was created while the cycle was on pause. So you can see the top is nice and, you know, clear. Um, the bottom just accumulated some of the yeast from the older SCOBYs. Okay, so I'm going to just remove, try to remove all the other ones. And these you'll see the difference in the color as well okay so look at this guys look at the difference in the color this is the newest one this is the one just before so the newer one is a little bit lighter um, the bottom of this is not too bad there's a couple little pieces of yeast on there so I'm gonna give these a wash but I just wanted to see all the scopies that have been brewed in this container. Um, I just feel that there are too many in there right now. It's it's almost more scobies than kombucha. But for now I'm just separating them and gonna clean them up and see how many of these previous ones I'm gonna put back into this batch here. Alright so these are some older ones as well. These were obviously brewed in a smaller container, but I put them in here to get this batch going. So, um, okay, so we do have a little bit of starter liquid left in there. So I'm gonna just pour that into the container here. And then I am going to, if you can see here, there's some yeast build up there. Um, and sometimes the spout gets clogged with little pieces of yeast or whatever um, debris is left. So, all right, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, I've washed my container. Now it's nice and clean. I used some boiling water and vinegar. First I used the vinegar, just a pure vinegar, and I gave it a good wash just with my hands. You don't have to use any cloths or anything like that and I just removed any debris I found stuck on there. Um, and then I just poured some hot water and 
you know, rinse it off thoroughly. Um, you can let it air dry, or as I did, I just drained out all the water and dried the outside with a paper towel, but the inside I, I didn't dry, I just left it as it is. If you have time, you can air dry it, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna just keep going. I have washed the scobies that I'm gonna be replacing in this green container. I just use some clean water. You can have clean boiled water, or room temperature. Um, the water from our tap is really clean, so I just went ahead and used that and removed the little pieces of yeast that was built up on there. It really wasn't too much, and I decided to keep three of them just because um, it helps my kombucha brew faster, and I don't want to have to wait for two whole weeks, which is the normal brewing time if you brew a gallon with just the one SCOBY. The other older ones, as you can see, are super dark, very mature. Um, I am going to do another video with this. I'm going to try an experiment, so tune in for that one. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the starter liquid that I saved. Replace it back into the container. Okay. And go ahead and replace these in there as well. I've already brewed some sweet tea, but it hasn't cooled down as yet, so I will wait till that's cooled down and then I will go ahead and add it to this. And you just resume your regular brewing. Okay guys, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, write them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.